What's up, Samurai? We are back against more Velerin, and actually today's video is a little bit special because what I wanted to do was show you guys this new set of armor. So this is actually a new brinestone armor that is craftable that was added in the most recent, like, significant update you know back when i ended up doing my patch notes video like a week or two ago right uh, i'm just getting to it now also i want to give a heads up and just say i'm sorry that the let's play series has slowed down a lot i do still have a bunch of videos but i kind of have other games that i'm prioritizing right now but it is in no way abandoned now that said this is going to end up being the brinestone set which is absolutely beautiful it is a legendary armor set and is uh, I'm gonna say it's difficult, but it's not difficult at the same time. Like it's it's pretty easy to manage. Uh, it's just going to be tricky because of the dungeons that are required in order to do so. So uh, if you end up scrolling all over the map, you can notice way down here. Uh, I don't know if these are in other areas of the game, but these dungeons in particular uh, are going to end up being what drop the resources that are required in order to craft this set, which I'll end up going through momentarily. Uh, the enemies that you're looking for are going to end up being the Sea Bishop and the Coral Golem. These two characters that I'm going to end up putting a screenshot of right here. Uh, you're not really looking for any of the air creatures. Uh, you know, there are going to end up being the sea clerics and all that crap. They're just kind of going to get uh, end up getting in your way. But the Coral Golem and the Sea Bishop can drop the Brinestone Ore itself and the Pearl. Now, the weird thing is that the Ore uh, is not actually uh you you can't actually like craft it into like fully crafted ore like into ingots and stuff but if we end up taking a quick peek you can see that all you really need is just the brinestone itself but then you are also going to end up needing gold ore so you'll get gold ore just in caves and so on and so forth you can't forge it into ingots uh in order to craft this armor which i think is their way of keeping people from just instantly being able to craft this because now suddenly we're going to have to go into dungeons and stuff. Uh, you know, in a long, long time from now, you're going to see in the Let's Play series, me actually crafting this armor for Batum. But uh, I just wanted to show you guys really briefly, you're getting 24 pieces of brinestone. Uh, you're going to end up needing some rigid leather, which there is going to end up being some areas here in the desert. If you use the respawn method that I ended up talking in another video, there's going to end up being kind of this, I don't know, it's like a weird wildebeest dinosaur type thing. It's pretty small, but ultimately is going to end up being uh, what will end up giving you the rigid leather so it's a consistent way that you can end up farming it uh, and then you're going to also need the pearls so the brinestone and the pearls more specifically are going to be what you'll get out of the dungeons themselves and then otherwise yeah this is going to end up being all the resources that you need it's not super duper difficult to craft the armor set is going to be kind of the same as cultist armor where it's kind of a jack of all trades master of none so it doesn't have as good armor as oracalcum which we all know at the end game or Calcum is basically the mandatory armor because everything ends up one-shotting you but we'll talk about all the other tiers of armor in another video uh, and then there's going to end up being some energy reward and some crit power on this set which those are something that is a little bit unique to this set that the other end game armors don't have the energy reward obviously is on sun silk uh, as well as max energy and then the crit damage is actually on the dragon scale set which uh, again we'll have other videos that will focus on those I've just slowly been trying to get my hands on all of the different sets so i can have some videos for you guys but this is what it's gonna look like and it's actually one of the only armors in the game that has a headpiece and as far as i can tell this is pretty much the best headpiece in the game there are going to end up being crowns and stuff like that but generally speaking this is going to end up being the best one i am going to put this guy on ignore but i'm going to do that after we finish today's video because i just wanted to say thank you so much for watching and if you uh, found this video helpful i would appreciate if you smash like sub for more by the merchant more support the channel and have a wonderful day sign on stay epic everybody